In my digital photography class, one of my assignments was to submit a picture demonstrating nighttime photography. What made this project fun was being able to experiment with some creative ideas. I saw many examples of people doing light painting with neon sticks and flashlights, but I wanted to try a different way with sparks. That is when I tried to use steel wool and a whisk as a way to create a bunch of sparks. This will be a tutorial as to how to do light painting with steel wool and a whisk. But in order to do that, a few items need to be purchased. My first stop was at Home Depot, where they carried the steel wool. You will notice there are different grades of wool. I chose the grade of four zeros, which has fine fibers. This allows the steel wool to catch fire easiest. One pack gives you plenty of wool to use and try out multiple types of images. Next was getting a pack of screen spline. It is a tough and durable material with flexibility and stretch to it. Alternatively, a skipping rope could also work considering you would already have the rope and handle already attached. Just make sure you cut the correct length and that the rope is black. For this tutorial, I'm sticking with the screen spline being attached to a handle. Next stop is at the dollar store. I went to this Dollarama to get a whisk. I found this Betty Crocker one for $3. There are small, medium, and large sizes. I will be using a medium size. Whatever whisk you choose, make sure there is a large enough hole at the base of the handle in order to tie the screen spline to it. You definitely want to protect your eyes from all the sparks that will be flying around. I made sure to get a pair of safety glasses. You will need a handle to attach the screen spline to. This could be anything. A quick and cheap solution was purchasing this Betty Crocker vegetable peeler only for its handle. It was the cheapest item at $2.50 and it also had some nice finger grooves for a comfortable grip. An optional item would be a thin pair of gloves, only if you plan on doing a lot of twirling and spinning of the whisk. This is just to protect your hands from any blisters. No matter where you plan to launch these sparks in the air, a fire extinguisher is highly recommended. It is likely your surroundings may have materials that could catch fire from those sparks. Never a bad idea to have one on you. A flashlight is also recommended, not only to help you see, but to help you manually focus on an area if you do not have anybody operating the camera. And of course, a lighter. You can also use matches or even a 9 volt battery to light the steel wool. But I found that a cheap lighter does the job well. Okay, so now you have the essential items. It is time to assemble the whisk. First, cut about 3 feet worth of screen spline, then tie one end to the base of the whisk handle. Then take the vegetable peeler and break off the handle. This will be the handle you will be spinning the whisk with. Now tie the other end of the screen spline to the base of that vegetable peeler handle. And there you have it. You now have a whisk ready to be spun. Now let's load the whisk with some steel wool. Once the wool is inside the whisk, you want to try and stretch it to fill the whole area. This is so the wool has plenty of room to breathe and to allow airflow. Okay, you are almost ready. Now it's time to make sure your camera has the proper settings. For this tutorial, I'm using a Nikon D3300. I first set the focus to manual to make sure we have a sharp image for the entire shot. We also want to manually set our exposure by moving the toggle to M. For my Nikon, I set the shutter speed to bulb by navigating to the orange numbers. I'm choosing a 15 second exposure time. The aperture can be set anywhere from f8 to f11, and my ISO is set to 100. Okay, you're now ready to go outside. Time to put on your gloves, slap on those safety glasses, and paint the sky with some sparks. So if you are by yourself, this is what you have to do. You first use your flashlight to help you pick a spot to where you want to set your focus on. I chose this wall as I'll be standing right in front of it. The next important step is to set a timer. My Nikon only had a 5 second timer, but it was enough time to run to the wall. Once that is set, in this particular order, I first lit the steel wool in multiple spots. I then hit the shutter button which triggers the timer. I then drop the lighter, run to the wall, and start spinning the whisk for about 15 seconds as that is when I set my bulb shutter speed to. And there you have it. If you framed and focused your shot well, you will see a picture something like this. So that is my quick tutorial as to how to do light painting with steel wool and a whisk. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.